is the, I believe, the 62 car. Is that Tommy Grimes there? 63, 63 car. Brian Schwartz, excuse me, the rookie out of Countryside, Illinois. You see a lot of fluid coming out of the engine compartment there. The big hit back there in the field. These cars were well back in the pack, mid-pack, as a matter of fact. There's Godesi as he makes his way slowly around. Number 07, that belongs to Tully Esterline. And, buddy, let's take a look at exactly how that transpired. Contact as they start off the corner there. You see the car down on the bottom weave. Now he tries to correct, goes high up into the outside wall. Hard lick, almost turns the car over. Holy mackerel, and you can see everybody behind him trying to check up. It's chain reaction from here on, just car after car getting involved. At Brown backward there, Gadezi backward there. We also saw gathered up Glenn Allen Jr. out of Cincinnati, Ohio in the 56 machine, a nearly all-white machine. There you see the heavy hit to the outside wall. There's Glenn Allen Jr. coming through, and he nearly, if not uh, made contact, just missed Kenny Phillips in the green 12 car. Right under the flag stand, and the yellow comes out immediately. Let's look at it from down low. Boy, he's almost squared up to the wall when he hits. That's a big hit. It is a big hit, and he was very lucky the car didn't tip on over. If it started rolling there, he would have collected about twice as many cars because there would have been absolutely nowhere to go. 19 car back there, Dennis Lampman, he got through, and here's another look at it. looks at real-time speed and number 10 Matt Sielski also involved there as he ran into Brian Schwartz he was just coming up along the wall and had nowhere to go so we're going to have a little bit of a long cleanup here I think before we can get back to racing speed and you hear people talking all the time that qualifying is not important well it is important because that was in the back part of the field and usually when things happen it's because cars get in in a hurry trying to move up through the field and that's exactly what happened there contact coming out of the corner and sent him right into the outside wall so we've had four laps of record and several cars damaged to the point where they probably won't be able to continue with this activity here tonight in the season lid lifter for ASA Racing 2001. We'll be back in a moment. Well, Long Islander Frank Gaudisi was involved in that wreck. His car pretty wrecked up. He won't be returning, but that's not the reason why. Frank says his wrist hurts a lot right now, thinks it may be broken. He cannot move it. He will get medical attention down here on Pitt Road. Sandy? Well, right now, uh, we're with Brian. Tell us what happened out there. Uh, I don't know. First lap, uh, we uh, got hit from behind or something, and uh, these guys are racing for the win too early. Uh, you know, it's a 300-lap race. Don't know uh, what else to say. Got hit from the rear and got turned. And you just didn't know what happened next. Were the tires cold still? Did you? Yeah, the tires are cold. The track's real damp. Uh, it's, about 50, it's about 50 out here, and it uh, takes a lot of time to get heat in the brakes and tires. And uh, guys just didn't want to wait for that. They wanted to go right away. Okay, well, it's a clue, guys. You can see as we're talking, you can see your breath. It is Florida, but it is chilly down here. Well, buddy, we did see them taking extra measures before the race to keep the moisture off the, the uh, windshields and that sort of thing, but tires would be an issue that early as we take another look at what happened. Well, Swartz right there, you can see they, he gets into the outside car there just a little bit. I didn't see a lot of contact with him. As he goes across, he hits the outside wall and springs way up in the air, and all the cars come in there. That's just chain reaction, nowhere to go. You really don't know what to do. You check up, and you get hit from behind. You see all these cars getting turned around there by cars that are running behind them. Well, you saw the 29 car, Francesco Gadesi there, spinning down the track. He got hit from the back, and I'll tell you, Sometimes if you can't get your hand off the wheel, it'll snap and it can break your wrist. Yeah, I think he needs to get out of the car and go get some medical attention. But I tell you, that it's real easy to break like that. Matt Sielski, you see, gathered up, trapped 